Don't make the same mistakes I did. All right, now you know it's bad when you are looking, hoping, and praying for like a bent push rod or a broken rocker stud or something. So we're gonna pull this valve cover off, which is very, very simple, with the exception of that one way up there, which really sucks. Those three come out really easy, so let's get this valve cover off and see uh, what's underneath. You guys have no idea. We're talking none, zero just how hard it was to get that bolt off of there so is it weird that i am praying to see something like obvious normally you don't want your motor broken but at this point i want to see something broken here jesus christ this is tight there we are all right let's go Let's go. Oh, I'm going to need two hands for this. Let me uh, set you guys down right there. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I'm hoping for the best. God, this is tight. I think I found the problem. Oh, shit. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to take a couple pictures. That is great news. Holy shit. All right, so obviously you can see what the problem is here. We have two, count them, one and two broken springs. Now I'm gonna uh, obviously check the rest. Not sure how both broke. Probably going to uh, end up getting these heads redone. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna fix these two and we're gonna go from there. I will pull off the other valve cover just to check. This is the first time I'm noticing that that one is broken. And uh, yeah, so I bought this goofy tool off of Amazon. I'm gonna unthread these and uh, we're gonna pop these off. I gotta pull, put this cylinder into top dead center. So I'm gonna grab my little bore scope, spin the motor around, get that set, and we'll go from there. All right, so this tool has two threaded ends. There's a bigger one and there's a smaller one. And, uh, of course, it's set the wrong way, so I'm going to go swap this. All right, apparently that thread's down, so let's try this again. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not do nothing. I didn't put it to top dead center. You suck, you duckass. I'm not gonna lie, that was almost a catastrophe because this piston was about as far down as it could go. But if you look, here on the bottom, we have the top of the piston. Here on the top, you can see the valve, there's the head. So we are at top dead center. And uh, I don't expect you to be able to see in there, in the plug, but yeah, I can see the top of the piston. So now I have to get some air in there. Thank God that didn't fall. You guys gotta warn me, man. You know I don't know what I'm doing. So we got our top dead center. We went, we grabbed our compression tool and we grabbed the spark plug thingy. Now I'm pretty lucky. I don't have a Schrader valve in here. So uh, we're gonna throw some air in this and then we're gonna try popping off the little retainers. You know, we have to take off both of them, obviously. We are gonna check the push rods. Decent chance one might be bent, but in the meantime, uh, let's get this started. You guys hang out there. I don't know how loud this is going to be. Whoa. That made a weird noise. I better lower this. Whoa. I better lower the pressure. I got all of it coming out. What the hell, man? Oh. Are these not metal? There we go, there's one. There's the other, okay. All right, I'm gonna unthread this and then I'm gonna do the other one and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, because the spring is broken, it's not allowing me to 
compress it far enough to get the clips out. So I'm going to have to do something else because the air is not holding it in place. This, uh, this sucks a little. That's as far down as it goes. Oh, f me hard. It f fell down. I'm not a smart man. Hopefully air will get it out. I, I have no idea. Maybe a magnet. I, I don't know. Let me try a magnet real quick. Where's my magnet? No. Oh. Shit. 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 Maybe a smaller magnet. Hopefully they're not aluminum. Maybe air. I'm not in a good mood now. Uh, air is not helping. I think the head's coming off. All right, that's exactly what happened. The whole piston dropped. So I can see the valve in there. I'm gonna try to get in here with a little pick and lift it up rather than try to uh, turn the motor. So let me see. Uh, I'm gonna set you guys right here. Watch that, let me know if it goes up. Whatever we want, we don't want it to go down. Hold on, never mind. I can uh, record this. All right, it was a tough battle, but we have persevered. As you can see, we got both springs off. A uh, little concerning, I am missing this black piece. There wasn't one there. I looked inside the spring. It definitely didn't fall. No clue where that went, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to order one of those and two springs. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pull that valve cover and just check all the springs just to make sure. These are, the rest look fine. I don't know why uh, one cylinder, but I'm glad it was only one cylinder because you really can't set two of them to top dead center. And what I ended up doing was I ended up just uh, rotating the uh, engine around until I was finally able to get this up and through. So thank God that didn't fall because that's just a lot of extra work having to pull the head. So let's continue on. Well, believe it or not, I'm gonna do the right thing and this would surprise a lot of you if you know me, but I think I'm going to replace every spring. It's the right thing to do. So, see you in a couple days. You're a total goddamn catastrophe.